Tricking the game into loading our aimbot without an injector? Yes, you can. And today I'll show you how. When a process wants to load a DLL in Windows, it uses something called the DLL search order. And today we're going to hijack that using DLL side loading. This is a technique that's a favorite among malware developers for stealth and evasion. We're going to repurpose it today to load our aimbot into a salt cube. DLL side loading abuses when an application attempts to load a DLL from its installation directory. Normally this would be fine, but there are cases where the DLL may not exist. So what we can do instead is put our own DLL, which loads any of our aimbot code, throws it into the game, and then forwards any legitimate calls that Assault Cube needs to the legitimate DLL that exists on the system. When executing Assault Cube, we can use a tool like Procmon to look for any events where acclient.exe attempts to load a DLL. We need to find any events where acclient.exe is looking for 32-bit DLLs within its installation directory, but then fails to find them. We identify eight separate events, giving us eight potential candidates of DLLs we can impersonate for sideloading. Note that these DLLs do exist somewhere else on the system, but we're abusing the fact that acclient.exe attempts to load them from the installation directory first. All these work just fine, but I'm gonna be using IP Help API today. From here, we'll want to understand what attributes, such as exports of the IP Help DLL that we need to impersonate so Soul Q will load and run properly. We can inspect the imports of acclient and the exports of IP Help API using something like PEBear. Uh, which we can go through and see every single export that's here or every single import that might be desired by the executable. Right away, we can already tell that IP Help API has a ton of exports and trying to make a DLL that impersonates every single one of these is going to be quite tedious. Also considering that this is 297 separate exports and that's quite annoying. So instead for a proxy DLL, we're going to have it just only export whatever acclient.exe needs and just make sure it looks exactly the same as IP help API. So really what we need to care about here is the get adapters info function that it's importing from IP help API. And then we'll need to make sure that it's being exported at the same ordinal value. So in this case, it's hex 45. Nice. In Visual Studio, we'll want to create a default DLL project and ensure all compilation settings are set to 32 bit. We want to put any calls for our code inside the DLL process attached to ensure our code is loaded once a DLL is attached to a salt cube. In this case, I've broken out the functionality into a function called load hacks. If you have any logic that needs to be run on another thread to prevent blocking, I would recommend using wrapping it in create thread. This is something you might need to do for a salt cube, so just keep that in mind. Load hacks simply just loads our aimbot. The biggest thing here is going to be this pragma comment. This is actually a linker a directive which tells the linker to export a function called get adapters info but it's going to forward any calls to dll called guided hacking dll and in that guided hacking dll forward it to a function called get adapters info at ordinal 69. so this is a way to have our export and then properly forward it along to the next dll this is probably the most important part of this whole tutorial and you can have as many of these as you have functions or that are needed to make sure that you have the proper exports that are needed so that the executable will load this library. Once you have that there, we're going to go ahead and just do control B and compile it. I've actually pre-compiled this already and staged it as well next to the legitimate IP help API.dll or well, sorry, well, this is not the real IP help API.dll. It's actually this guided hacking one, because if we remember, we rename this, we can't have two of the same DLLs in the same directory, and this is our side-loaded DLL that we just created here. We can check the exports on this uh, separately if you need to validate this. I have the aimbot DLL here as well. We're going to copy all of this into the installation directory of PC client. And now everything is there. We have aimbot, IP help API, which is our side-loaded proxy DLL, and then guided hacking.dll, which is the legitimate IP help API DLL. Now, if everything runs right, our message box should open first, salt cube will load, and then we should be able to see our aimbot within the salt cube. Perfect. Now let's kill some noobs.